folks. So uh, today's video is about air conditioning, or rather the lack of it. Had a thunderstorm yesterday in Houston and I had a lightning strike near my house. It uh, induced current in some of my low voltage wiring and the victims were a couple of network switches, uh, all of my outdoor security cameras, and the fancy thermostat on my Goodman communicating, or rather not communicating, air conditioning and heat pump system. So after doing some investigating, I have determined that the sanest solution is to abandon the communicating mode and switch to legacy. Um, I may pay a small penalty in efficiency, but it's nowhere near the thousand dollars worth of parts that I think would need to be replaced. Um, I don't know exactly what's wrong with it and um, you know, it's been working fine. It was working fine before the storm, and it quit working after the storm. So, the storm is probably what caused it. So, anyway, uh, let me show you what we've done and how to test this, and then I will get started on getting some air conditioning going. So, here's the exterior unit, and one of the things that I did is I disconnected the thermostat, and I hooked it up to these four terminals here, and it can see the condenser, but it can't see the blower. No big deal. I had these wires disconnected at that time. And if I hit the test button, this will come on. All right, so I've got the thermostat hooked up directly to here, and I just reconnected the communication wire out to the, to the condenser. Um, and I'm set up more like a commercial because I just didn't have room to get an air um, return in here the way I wanted. So I'm using the attic as an air return, which is fine because this is a spray foam insulated house and it needs to be um, conditioned. So it says a blower was not detected. Um, I'm gonna go through and reset this. Um, and it's been displaying this error, which basically is the death of the communications network uh, as far as I can tell based on other people's experiences. Now, before the air conditioning folks start throwing darts at me, I put this in four years ago, and I do have my, uh, I, I do have my certifications for automotive and, and small appliance, so I'm not a complete fool when it comes to this. I also did a manual D and a manual J, and it's been, it's performed really, really well. Um, unfortunately, Emerson, took some shortcuts and did not harden the RS 423 or 432 interface against induced surges and I suspect that's why they're seeing a lot of failures and I also suspect that's why Goodman has retreated from uh, Comfort Net and gone to Comfort Bridge because it's a whole lot easier to maintain communication between the air handler and the condenser and let the thermostat just be whatever the hell it is because you know you're not going to outrun Google and Nest. And um, at any rate, uh, you know, I've been happy with thermostat, but it's discontinued and it's stupid expensive. And by the way, I'm gonna have one for sale if you wanna pay me 300 bucks for it. Um, but at any rate, um, so, you know, this was installed properly. It's been running perfectly for four years, at least as perfectly as a Goodman or a Mana unit can run. And uh, up until the nearby lightning strike last night, had no issues out of it. So back to where we're at, um, I think we've got a dead comfort net or communications bus. So, and I actually think the failure is here because it cannot find the blower unit when it's connected to the blower unit and there's nothing else there. And that's a pretty good indicator that the, this side of the communications bus is dead. Now, if I hook this up outside, it'll find the condenser but obviously it doesn't find the blower. So anyway, let me reset this up. I wanna see if I can um, cause a test to go on. And yes, you're not supposed to have two wires ganged in here, but for testing purposes, that is just fine. Um, I'm confident that it's making enough of a connection. Um, Long-term, I would use wire nuts. I'm also gonna film the reset process, but I think it's valuable. So there's a date code back here uh, I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard to see. Oh, you know what? It's on the inside. All right, so you got to take this off. There's a date card here in little tiny ass letters, and that is your password to get into installer mode. So let's let this boot up. It's 
pretty bad sign when you gotta take the thermostat off the wall. Pretty good indicator there's something wrong with the system. And I really feel sorry for any of the professionals that would have installed these things, because this would be a fucking nightmare. Pardon my language. So you go into menu, go down to installer mode, installer options, enter your code. Yes, I'm gonna do dangerous things. In fact, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to advanced options, restore factory defaults. Yes, fuck you, Goodman. Ah, so this will reset and then it'll go into program mode. And, and, and there is a network reset button on the board. Um, hasn't really done anything. It's called learn. You hold it for two seconds. It does a factory default. So next, next. Yep, that's fine. I don't care what you call it. So two minutes later, I'll be back. Minutes have gone by, and we're just going to jump through this. Boom, boom, boom. The blower was not detected. Really, it's connected to it. It's fucking powered on. So, you know, the net of it is, is that the Comfortnet bus has died. So we're going to convert to a legacy application and put in a $50 or $60 thermostat and be done with this. Uh, so that's what today's project is. And I'm, honestly, I'm not real happy about it. I'd rather not be doing this. All right, so uh, now the wires are hooked up on the front side and should be able to get to fire up and test. Eh, maybe not. There it goes. Clearly the compressor works, it's alive, um, it starts, it stops. So now what we need to do is wire um, the low voltage wiring end. One of my regrets is I didn't run conduit to here. So I'm gonna do that today and that's actually what's gonna take me longer than anything else is I'm gonna have to come out up there where I just painted, no big deal, I can paint again. So anyway, let's get started on that.